What's up, guys? It's two uh, Ronnie. And JDS underscore YDF. And we're going on a ride right now, just through Dallas and stuff. Well, not really Dallas, just through the Metroplex. So uh, today's topic is Scully helmets. So uh, for a lot of you who may not know what a Scully helmet is, it's like a helmet with um, a lot of technology, like rear view camera, heads up display, uh, Bluetooth uh, integration. Electronic tinted visor. Oh yeah, that's I, I didn't even know that. Yeah, that tinted visor thing he's talking about. What else do they have? Uh, I don't know. I just know it's badass. And it looks fucking good, too. Like yeah. the helmet it looks really nice. It's not just like a giant blob or it almost looks like a, it almost has the same similar style as the AGV, the uh, GP Vista helmet. Yeah, it does. Like the, like the front chin, it's like pointy. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, but I don't think a lot of motor vloggers were like that. Like me, I had to uh, mount my camera on the chin. Yeah, so that, that'll be a tough one if someone were to want a motovlog and have that same camera angle. Yeah. If I have to do something different with it. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, so what do you think about the Scully helmet, Joe? Uh, I don't know, man. It's tough. It has a lot of technology. Heads up display and all that such. I'm curious how they know how they link it to the motorcycle in that demo video. It showed like uh, freaking half light popped up in the heads up display, like they no fuel and stuff. So I wonder how they actually make it to the motorcycle to show the speed and all that stuff. Yeah. And then, but the other than that, like the navigation is not really a big deal for me. It's like I can look at a map and memorize pretty much where I'm going. And I have a ram out, so that's right, not so, a huge deal. Yeah. I mean, it helps a little bit, but you're still not focused on the road when you're looking on the heads up display. You're looking at the heads up display. It's looking the same as looking down at your ram mount, almost. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like, Scully really hasn't uh, proved to themselves as a helmet brand first. Yeah, it's like, hey, we're Scully, we're going to charge you $100 for a helmet and uh, have a cheap little technology. But then again, it's like, when something new comes out, you never heard of it, and it just has some cool ass shit. Just wanna, you gotta have it, just to have it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Another thing is the price of it. It's like fifteen hundred dollars, right? Yeah. The first twenty-five or fifty people that pre-ordered it paid like a hundred or hundred fifty bucks, something like that. They got a little baby discount for pre-ordering the helmet. But it's still like, man, it's, I, w I still want to know how it actually fits. Like every helmet brand has a different style or shape fit to it. Yeah, that's true. Like, uh, like for the Shoei RF 1200 I have, it fits snug, and it's only like $500. But yeah. if you add on the, if you add on the GoPro and the Senna and everything, it's gonna be around $1,100, $1,200. Yeah. So. It's just a bit like how much you want to spend on a helmet. Like some people are think it's necessary to have all those extra technology on a helmet when all they want to do is focus on riding you know yeah me i like to focus on riding i don't really like listening to music or anything like that well i'm not gonna lie i always jam out but yeah. I'm, I'm not ralph is always like this music is way too loud i have mine where i can still hear through my headphones the traffic and such yeah i mean i i listen to music sometimes but I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit distracting. I can't have it too loud, you know? Yeah, I have it more like a background music. It's just like, it won't be so, like, just exhaust sound all the time. And speaking of exhaust, I've been really looking at getting that toast exhaust. Oh, the Tose or was, Toast or whatever yeah, it's called? Yeah, I was talking to Raul, and he's like, dude, if you get that, I'd be so jealous. But I still need to get the, a proper bitch. Uh, dude, that would be so sick. But I'm just going to get their Cat Elite uh, mid pipe, and then I'm going to get the toast exhaust. Yeah, dude, that'd be good. Oh. <laughs> it'll, it'll look, it'll look so clean. That's like my favorite one on the, on the R1, like Modernosity. Oh a, yeah, dude, yeah, like so nice. His the is sick, the red dude. In it. His is like the, this is the R1 version of my bike. It's so sick. That Tosa exhaust makes a huge difference on the look of the bike compared oh, yeah. to a stock, you know, because it has that 
he has that uh, unique look, you know. Yeah. And then it's freaking Texas when they're like, it's starting to get colder the farther north we go. Hell like yeah. <laughs> I just, what, two or three weeks ago, it was like 100 almost, humid, hot. And like the past week, we've had like three thunderstorms, wind storms, and tornado watches. And now we're at like a relaxed 75 degrees during the day, perfect weather, and at night it gets a little chilly. But that's not all too bad. Yeah, dude, the weather has been crazy though, seriously. There's like, uh, there's like tornado warnings and yeah. wind storms and heavy rain. And then it's like good weather like today. Oh shit, dude. What was that? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I fucking <laughs> barely did <missed it. laughs> <laughs> At least I got on camera. <laughs> hey. Go back and check that shit out. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was like a tire shred balled up or handicap, like wheel cover. Now she's like squeezing on. I told her I was not to <laughs> comfortable, but she's doing pretty good for her first ride, man. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I don't, I don't like, uh, 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 riding with passengers sometimes. I don't. I mean, it's all right. It just depends on the passenger. Yeah, because if, if they don't know how to... Uh, it makes your ride that much worse. Yeah, like because like, you have to lean, they have to lean, they can't trying, be all up on you, but they can't be too far back, you know. Yeah, and then they're trying to lean the opposite way and they got to lean with you. Yeah, trying to fuck up your knee drag, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Let's get off on Katy. Let's go to Starbucks and get some hot chocolate. Dude. Get down. Go what? Uh, get off on Katy. Uh huh. And then we'll go left across the bridge, and there's gonna be a Starbucks, so we can get some hot chocolate and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. Just I leave. Her, leave the pack. <laughs> I told her we. Uh, I told her it was gonna be her, but fuck it. Huh. Yeah, man. I got my finally got my wheel fixed. Oh yeah, dude. Hit. I got my bent rim fixed. I was like really bent. Like I didn't notice how bent it was until he took it off and he was like, damn, you were riding on this? I said, well, kinda. And then I got my new tires put on. I'm loving them so far. They haven't gave me any problems. Uh, what 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 type what type is it? Uh, I got the Angel Pirelli Diablo GTs or something like that. Oh really? Angel Diablo. I forgot. Yeah, the Angel Diablo GTs or something. They're like a sport touring tire. They got like a high mileage, uh, harder compound center for like stand up highway riding, and then they have the Diablo Corsa sidewalls, so you can still get that lean action on the, if you ever want to go to the twisties. So I want to take it out to the country roads one day and check it out. And see. Yeah, dude, we haven't been to country roads in. <laughs> when was that? I don't remember. It's long, been a long time. Since summer. Yeah, no, well, Ralph just went a couple days ago, but man, oh man, was it cold. Yeah, dude. I want to go, like, during a good day. Yeah, uh, like, just, to, like, weather like today, I would be so down. Hopefully we, on the weekend or something, we I need don't know. A, we need to squeeze a day in before it gets cold. Seriously, because it's, <laughs> it's going to get cold pretty quick, because... If not, I think... I'm still down to ride in the cold. It just won't be the same. You won't be able to ride the same. Yeah, that's true, because you're going to be all cold and stuff, worrying about that. I'd rather be hot than cold, honestly. Uh, I'd rather, yeah. Well, I'd rather be, it depends. On the bike, uh, it's a hard one. Because, like, I'm a per, like, an actual, in general, I'd rather be cold than hot because you can always put more stuff on. Yeah. But I just hate the feeling of, like, being cold, like, you're shivering, your freaking bones, the joints ache. Well, at least mine do from football because mine got all messed up. But other than that, when it's hot, hot, and you're like, man, you got to gear up just too much and way too hot. I don't know. I, I like the hot better. I'm a Texas boy. And, you know what I mean? Like, I can't stand the cold, dude. That's, uh, it's also because, you know, you can't ride as much, like, in 30-degree weather. I don't ride. Fuck that. Uh, I can't well, do that. I'm going to be riding in 30-degree weather. Well, like, the, I think the lowest I, I rode in was, like, 40 degrees. Or it was, like, 38 or something. I don't know. Something like that. But it was a, uh, it was a struggle because I didn't have the the Alpine Stars uh, mask on and man, it was so cold. I just wanted to go home. <laughs> it was like 10 o'clock at night. You know, so what? Like we real might chill. have to stop at the next gas station. I freaking forgot where the hell the Starbucks is at. Oh really? I've only been here once. 
was with one other girl, so. <laughs> okay. I think it's coming up. That's hard. This shit is not the same. Oh, here and girl. We'll pull into the right. Get over to the right. Can you get over? Yeah. Uh, I guess this will conclude our vlog. Yeah. So. And she's not doing too bad for her first uh, ride. But yeah, we'll go ahead and conclude this vlog on JDS underscore YZF. And to uh, Ronnie, make sure you follow him on Instagram, JDS underscore YZF. And then uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos, subscribe to me. And uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, to like my, Ronnie. Oh, yeah. To War Ronnie. Like my Facebook page and uh, follow me on Twitter. So I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video.